So yeah. we're almost there. <laughs> we're not almost there. Can't reach the twenty first. Oh god. What the fuck are you doing? I'm just trying to get comfortable. <laughs> Ow! Why did your car so small? I don't routinely. I'm in a flying death trap! There. This uh vlogging thing is a lot harder than people <laughs> say it is because I'm out of breath from trying to tape this stupid camera to the stupid car. Your car has no angles for applying any sort of recording device. What were we gonna talk about? See this is what happened. I don't remember what we were gonna talk about. No. And then we were about just joking about the eight fact years that we gonna trying to put that. the camera here. Fuck. Well, what are we on the way to do, man? Play at the House of Blues. We're on the way to play Last at the House of Blues. Yep. I still don't remember who's playing with us. Uh, Phil and AJ. Yes. Who they're did good. the Beatles cover? Yeah, that was really fun. I'm you didn't like that. Thing. You're not a Beatles fan, and this yeah. is something we're gonna have to make a whole video about because that's a problem. I don't like the Beatles. You don't know that you don't like the Beatles. I think. I do know that I. I have every Beatles album ever made on the very phone that we're recording on right now. Good for you. Yeah, great for me. That's why I don't let you, like, sync your phone to my Bluetooth in the car. I know. I don't even try. We like a lot of the same music. If not, I enjoy a lot of the music that you enjoy, so it's yeah. not a big deal. Which makes it more enjoyable when we don't like the same thing. Because the entire time, <laughs> we were at Island Bar and AJ and Phil were playing <laughs> Hard Day's Night. Was yeah, Hard Day's album? Night. You were just <laughs> singing along and so fucking happy to scream every word at my face. In your face. <laughs> With a big shit-eating grin. <laughs> I love this like song, and I know you hate it. <laughs> we're on the way to play at House of Blues. Oh, that's a thing we were going to talk about. Weird questions we get oh. from, from people. Do we need that? Does that help? That probably helps, but are we not going to draw like weird attention to ourselves? Uh, I guess that's okay. never really been a problem in our I'm lives. not distracted. I'm driving and running my mouth. And if I weren't talking to you driving, I would be singing though? along. Is it a law you can't drive with your light on? Is it? I don't know. I, have I just know that, that when my dad was driving in the car when we were little and I would turn one of the lights on or he had to turn a light on because we lost something under the seat, which happened, which happened to me all the time. And he'd be like, hurry up, I can't leave this light on very long. And oh, I don't know I if that's just cause he because he couldn't see or- I always thought it was a I can't see thing. Because I, I see it's, it's right lighter here. in here and darker out there. So we get reflections on the window and forward it's not as big a deal because you have headlights and stuff coming through that. But on the side windows, if I'm at a stop sign or something, I might not be able to see somebody coming at us. Right, I got you. I mean, I can lighten it up either way. But whatever you want to do. But, uh, the thing that we were going to talk about was people Question. ask, will there be a good crowd? Is like, there usually a good crowd when you go up there? Specifically to the House of Blues ones, is there a good crowd? It's a restaurant on a Sunday afternoon. Define good crowd. Right. We're in Myrtle Beach. We live in Myrtle Beach. I mean, for those of you that watch and don't know where we are, we're in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. On a Sunday night, if you can get people at tables eating food and you're a local musician, you're doing pretty well. There's no really good crowd to it. Right. Like, you know? there might be two full tables. There might be eight full tables. We don't know until we get there. It's our job to just do what we can to keep them from leaving right. immediately when they're done. We do a pretty good job of that, but like, is there a good crowd? Yeah. They don't interrupt the musicians. They pay attention <laughs> and they clap at appropriate they times. They don't throw Good. They don't right. throw things at so us. So they're a good nice. crowd. They're good yeah. at listening to music while they eat, I guess. Last time we had a bridal, what do you call it? It wasn't a bridal show. What do you call bridal it? Bridal party? Oh. Yeah. No. no. Bachelorette party. party. Bachelorette party. Hey. But I didn't notice them until after we were done playing. I don't know what I, what I would have said. You but it would have been hilarious. You would have said something. You would have absolutely attention said to them. something. Yeah. You could have said something. I wasn't paying any attention at all. Would you have said something if you saw? I feel like this is how we function, though. It depends on whether or not something comes to mind. And usually, if I can't think of something, you can. And if nothing's coming to mind for you, I might have something to throw out. But right. neither one of us was paying any attention to them. No, I didn't was... see them at all. I mean, the House of Blues restaurant on a Sunday evening, the food, like we've said in some other videos, it's freaking amazing. So good. It's so good. Is that why you tricked me in the McDonald's earlier? so that we wouldn't stuff our faces before the show? No, it was because I was hangry. But, side benefit, go ahead and eat then. It's a benefit. We're not starving. After we play, we can eat, but we don't feel compelled to stuff our faces before we have to sing. It was delicious either way. It was. The one thing about doing this video, last time where we got my sister Madison's serious account, and we yeah. could listen to any game. Dude, I've yeah. been listening to so much satellite radio lately, <laughs> because you can listen to freaking anything, and it's awesome. I can listen to, and only I would enjoy this because I'm a total nerd, news nerd, loser. You can get all of the networks, just their audio feed on your... I know, like, you, you don't care at all. No, oh, which awesome. networks? Any of them. CNN, Fox, even this... You can do it with ESPN. So any, like, too. TV's news network, you yeah. can get the audio feed of what's yes. being on the TV. Yes. That's cool. Yeah, it's freaking awesome. So I listen to, like, CNN and all that stuff, and really all of them. Do 
Yeah. Or, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, usually we would right now would be listening to the football game, but instead we're it's trying fun. something new. Do you trying like new this? Stuff. Are you enjoying it? Out. I mean, we would talk shit in the car anyway, right? And it's usually funny. So now we can share funny shit that we say in the car with right. people if we so choose. I think as we're learning this, I want to chronicle the other part of this, which is that you're interestingly difficult to convince to do really anything new. I establish a routine and a set of preferences, <laughs> and I stick with them. Yeah. And I get set in them. And it's not that I am 100% opposed to change for any reason. I just it needs to be demonstrated to me that the change is worth making before I commit to it. Yeah, outside of the band even, like you said, we talk shit all the time in the car anyway and argue about ridiculously unimportant things. Like how pickles are gross. Yeah, pickles are not <laughs> gross. Don't start me again on the pickles are gross thing because you're wrong. That was our other video. You should watch it too because I think it's funny. We need to go to that place. We what do. Is it called? It's a track. Track family fun. The track. Again, guys, if you want me to name something for you, Please call me. I will be the guy that names things for you. Track family fun. The track family fun. Oh, well, is it it's, the track. It's the track. Okay. The Which track makes sense because bit. if you look over there, you've got like a building nestled in between this one giant go kart track. Right. That's like three stories tall and has lots of overpasses and switchbacks. It looks great, and I totally want to go there. I absolutely yes. do want to go rip it that looks shit super up. Super fun. Yeah. It's like what is it? it goes up like multiple stories. It looks like that toy that was on TV all the time that was it was the like three story car wash with the cars and stuff that went down and had the little elevator thing. You see that okay. Back around. I thought the car wash ones were lame so I never Okay, had, something I could see happen. I had the one cheap ass Hot Wheels track that had the little C clamp you put on the back of a chair and the car went down the hill and threw a loop and and jumped. Yeah. And the, and that was it. It was like the simplest, cheapest the Hot Wheels track. Yeah. But it did I a loop sure and that. a jump, and it was badass. Yeah. I was like, oh, I want that right. one. And it was but that's what green, this place looks like, was my point. Totally looks like a real live Hot Wheels track yeah, that you it's can awesome. actually drive on. But yeah, oh, yeah the I track, do that. family fun. The track. I don't know what I would call it. I, the place that looks like that toilet that was on TV a lot when you were little. The track. That is descriptive as hell. Yeah. Because, I mean, what do you I'm see when you look at it? I'm not mistaking that for It's a anywhere. big fucking track. Right. My grandma took me to, um, what's it called? Frankie's Fun Park. Frankie's Fun Park. Yeah, it's Where over it? near Columbia. My grandparents lived in Columbia. And uh, my grandma is awesome. She is like the thrill-seeking old lady. Yeah. You know how... You go to Carowinds and you see like, you know, families, a bunch of people in the 30s and 20s and stuff, and then there's that like one badass old lady that's like with her little grandson <laughs> that's going to ride the afterburner or, right, or Fury yeah. or Intimidator or whatever, you know, right. the big ass roller coaster. That's her. <laughs> she does cool shit. She that's likes awesome. roller coasters. Frankie's Fun Park had like an arcade, but we would go because it was all about going to race go-karts. Yeah. I had the cool grandma that would go ride race roller coasters yeah. and race go-karts. That was pretty sweet. I wasn't really going anywhere with that story, just that reminded me. I really yeah, like awesome. driving go karts. She's awesome. Yeah. And go karts. And go karts. Grandma's go karts. Grandma's and go karts. Do a good side project name for a band. A good thing to toast whenever you don't know what else to toast. Yeah, to grandmas and go karts. Let's make that a thing. Yeah. To good. grandmas and go karts. There are a bunch of good ones that are funny, but you know, you recycle the same four or five of them and it's sure. not like great anymore. Donovan's favorite one is to rattle snakes and condoms, two yes. things that are never any fun to fuck with. <laughs> to wives and girlfriends, may they never meet. Um, but nobody has anything about grandmas and go-karts. Grandmas and go-karts are both excellent things, because exactly. go-karts are super fun, and grandmas... There's no punchline you know, there, it's just cool. Grandmas as a representative, you know, thing. Some people might have a mean grandma. We mean like the awesome grandmas like that will cool race go-karts with you. Yeah, go-karts and grandmas. And maybe if you have a bad grandma, you like go-karts. Maybe if you don't like go-karts, you got a sweet grandma. You don't have to have both of them the same another guy that needs to secure stuff in the back of his truck because he did not have any of that tied down. I hate that. That yeah. bothers the hell out of me. Well, you have a reason for it to bother you. So I do. I do. Like I, I have a quite unique... <laughs> Yeah, it's a whole story in itself. Yeah, about, <laughs> hey, if you've got a pickup truck, tie your shit down. So you don't hurt my friend. That's a video yeah, for another time. that's its own thing, that's right? That's a long story. That is a very long story. Also, I love hearing you tell the story of when I got diagnosed with cancer because <laughs> it never ceases too. to crack me the hell up between you, you and my mother. You so out of it. So I it's love fantastic. It. Yeah, me being off the cuff on like morphine and everything else. Yeah, great story. Are we on the sign here? Well, as always, we, we got to check. We were the first time. It's, it's like anything else, you know. They hear it's the first time, like, oh, they're awesome, but then you just take it for granted, you know. You think it's always going to be you there. Never put your back so you up. don't put it on your sign. You we were up there once, though. If you don't put your girl on your sign, 
and no one else knows she's playing at your show. No one else. I don't know where I was going. With that. Okay. At first, I thought you were going to go into was, like was a, those like I a wider analogy. Like if you don't put your girl on the do sign that. of yes. your heart, that's what and I was tell trying everybody for. Everybody, how proud of her you are. That's what I was aiming for. Okay, you so never really. Made I wasn't that really connection. sure where it was gonna end up. Yeah. But if you don't put your girl's name and lights on your marquee out in front of your personal house of blues, yes, then she is eventually going to perform at a venue that appreciates her. Yes, yes, that's it. That's it. Yeah. That's perfect. And on that note, we're about we're to play. And we're about to play. So yeah, we'll see yeah, you yeah. So By the time we put this up, you'll probably already... We'll all, uh, by the time you see this podcast, we will already have probably played. But it was awesome either way. This is fact. Well, it's always awesome. Yeah. So we can tell you right now that it was awesome. Yeah. And we'll, we Park that. Cheat. All right. Bye now. Bye now.